often when you do things in the world, whether that's uh, getting educated, getting married, having kids, ultimately all of that is done so you can be happy. But this doesn't lead to real happiness. This only leads to some temporary pleasures. And every time you have a glimpse at that pleasure, you mistake it for happiness. Self-realization is that state of transcending these temporary pleasures and trading them for constant state of happiness. All of our pleasures live in the mind anyway. Imagine if you could go to the source of those pleasures, the mind itself. And by self-realization, I don't mean that you have to go and sit somewhere and meditate. It could easily be a sense of fulfillment one could experience while painting or while dancing. while playing a musical instrument or even when singing but with these activities you have to keep doing them to feel that self-realization is going beyond an activity or a set of activities so you may always be in that state the material world wasn't quite the fit for me. Money, status, fame, wealth, positions could not really give me the happiness I was seeking. What I found in the uh, quiet mountains of Himalayas, I couldn't find it in the luxuries of this material world. Scriptures say, Neti, Neti, not that, not that. I am not my possessions, I am not the wealth, I am not the body, I am not even the soul, I am something beyond. My discovery led me to the most profound insight I could ever gather, and that is I am that. I am the realization I've been seeking. 